Welcome to this video on uh, type def controls. Um, I will be discussing uh, how to create a type def control and what are the basic advantages of uh, such a uh, control. Uh, first, let's inspect what we have. We have a data cluster here that is fed into a sub VI. The data cluster itself uh, has three fields, a status, uh, an array of uh, numerics called data, and a string uh, that's called description. Um, the sub VI itself has the same uh, cluster, but um, it's not a type def. And why a type def uh, might be better in this uh, case is uh, what I'm going to demonstrate first. Uh, first, we think this is a nice set of data, but I would like to add the timestamp uh, to the data set. So I'll add a timestamp that says um, uh, it's timestamp moment. And now when we go to the block diagram, we see that our um, code is broken because the sub VI still has uh, the data type without the timestamp. This can be um, be fixed by using uh, type defs. First, we just go back uh, to the original state. To create a type def, you right click on uh, any control. You can uh, select advanced and uh, customize. Now you're in the control editor. Um, it's important to set the type of the control to a type def or a strict type def. A strict type def also um, limits the graphical uh, edits you can do on the type def. Here uh, I'm just going to use a plain type def and I'm going to add and I'm just going to save it. I'm going to add the timestamp later. It says uh, type def for data. Um, because it's uh, basically a VI without a block diagram, we can create a control and call it type def. And now uh, this is important. Let you um, notice that we create a type def and it says, do you want to update uh, the owning VI? We select yes. Now this is the type def and this not. If you uh, look really close, here is a uh, red dot indicating a uh, data change, data type change. Um, so I'm going to replace this uh, control with the control we just created. And now when I look here, there is no uh, red dot. Now I can open the type def. It's shown up in my project explorer. And I can add the timestamp. Save it, close it. This one is updated. But if I look at the sub guy, it is updated as well. Um, this is called auto updating. Um, we can turn it off. We can access the type def directly from the uh, shortcut menu or we can disconnect uh, the control from the type def. And we can show the VI hierarchy for this type def. And here we see um, the icon of the type def that it's called by the sub VI and by the main VI. Um, what's also Nice. If we replace the terminal and view as icon, we get the icon we chosen for the control 